It's time again, my friends. <laughs> Here we are, you know, famous man once said, time is a flat circle, and uh, never have I believed that statement more than I currently do. Uh, the second season of the Halo TV show is upon us, and the first trailer for the show has just been revealed. Today we've had a trailer for House of the Dragon Season 2, which looks really damn good, a Fallout trailer, which looks incredible, the boy season four, which looks incredible. And you know what? I'm sure this is just going to be the cherry on the cake of today's trailers. So uh, let's stop buying time. Let's stop uh, delaying the inevitable <laughs> and react and also kind of break this trailer down. Oh, good God. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Paramount original. Oh, he's alive. Okay. The armor looks really sick still. The fall of Reach is actually happening. Okay. That was a cool shot. It's all your cult leader. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, that really looks sick. Oh my god, it dude is a Halo ring in the Halo TV show. Oh my god, Pog face, dude. No way. Okay. Halo music as well. Wow. That was a... Literally didn't exist in the first season. Um, okay. Uh, that's a short trailer. So we're going to go through and watch it again, but slower. Um, I have a lot of thoughts. I'm not going to lie. Quite a lot of thoughts. I don't want to jinx it. And I promise, I promise you right now that I'm not being hopium, as you very well know, <laughs> based on my videos on season one. Um... That looked considerably better than season one, purely based on the fact that it seemed like they were actually mostly showing like Halo combat and warfare and human versus covenant stuff, not terribly written character dramas that have no place in like a mainline Halo story and just aren't well written. I mean, I'm thinking of like the, the what was the name? The Quan stuff. Uh, the mostly awful stuff on the rubble, uh, Soren was good, but everything else that happened on the rubble, I just thought was not good. Um, let's, let's watch the trailer again. Let's go through it slowly and have another look. Cause uh, so chief's alive. I thought chief died at the end of the film. I thought John died. I thought the whole thing was that when, he <laughs> when he <laughs> in that final battle, when, uh, they were doing something with that artifact and, um, Chief, <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even say it without laughing. Chief walks into that room where, where like truth, mercy, and regret are just like above him. And he could like behead the covenant right there and then. And he just doesn't, like he just walks in, grabs that like polystyrene foreigner thing. Was it that? I could, it was something like that. And just walks out. Um, so I thought in that scene, I thought the whole thing was that Chief died and then Cortana resurrected him. And he was like a zombie cheat. I don't know. Uh, God knows. But it, evidently not. He's alive. Um, I will say that uh, speech by Keys was pretty cool in the background. I kind of like that. Uh, yeah. Seems like... Not inspirational. I hate those like cringe inspirational quote, uh, like inspirational monologues. But that, I don't know, it seemed kind of cool. That overlaid over like actual warfare happening and looking pretty good was kind of cool. Vanak looks awesome. The the silver team armor was like, honestly, for me, the absolute standout of season one. That was the one thing that I think I can genuinely say looked incredible. And based on them all suiting up here, it looks incredible again. I love that, like the chest braces on Vanak's EOD looks really cool. 
So I'm guessing it's going to be a new character, some like cadet or something. Some like La- Lasky from Fall Into Dawn or like, um, what was the other one's name? Is it Arenski? April Arenski? So like someone like that who's like obviously a cadet and then gets forced into the war when the Covenant invade. Because this is, I'm assuming, the Fall of Reach because they kind of set that up in season one, but it never happened. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> if I remember, <laughs> if I remember rightly, isn't that Reach City? <laughs> Um, I think the, that's the Covenant, obviously, glassing and bombarding Reach City. The glassing looked really good. Really good. Their numbers are overwhelming. That shot. I really, really, really like that shot. That's cool. That shot of the, uh, yeah, of the cruisers rising. There's, got, there's cruisers, there's the super carriers, there's corvettes. Um, I can't tell if there's, there's obviously phantoms. That's a really, really, really cool shot. That shot genuinely goes hard. Like, genuinely. The VFX... Well, I don't know. The VFX were very hit and miss in Season 1. There are some parts that look really good. Like, I remember there was that scene with uh, the UNSC frigate and the, the Corvette. That looked incredible. Like, absolutely just top tier. And then there's other bits that looked awful. Um, but that looks really, really good. I love the lighting as well. The, the sunrise. That's really cool. Kai looks really cool. Again. The glassing beams, that also looks really cool. I'm hoping that we get a kind of hunt the truth kind of thing where we get to see the actual like terrifying effects of not just glassing, but the aftermath of glassing as well. The whole like glass planets have bad records and that kind of thing. Like I really hope we see stuff like that in this because that was such a cool part of hunt the truth and actually seeing it visually would be really cool. And I'm guessing we're going to because this is presumably the covenant glassing reach, I'd assume. That's quite a cool shot, Chief. Oh, they are no more. That's cool. I like the very ominous, like, orange glow. That's cool. I don't know who that's meant to be. That woman. I, is it, I'm guessing it's a new character. There's, like, a very obvious emphasis put on her. Um, so I'm guessing... I th- at first I thought it was Cortana, but it's not uh, Natasha McElhone, because she shows up in a second. Is that a fucking cool leader? <laughs> Wait, hang on, is that... Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm guessing we're going to be going back to that storyline that we got into the first season where um, the monitor pops out of the Mario pipe in the middle of the desert to talk to that cult of desert witches about the Halo rings so they could give Master Chief some weird, like, hallucinogenic tea um, I, or something like that. No, it was Quan, wasn't it? Give, give Quan some weird hallucinogenic tea so she oh, i'm not finishing that i'm i'm not finishing that sentence <laughs> onwards <laughs> oh another scene of master chief with no armor on or no harm on okay okay i like that shot that shot cut in with the the keys of speech looping is really cool i like that so soren's back that that elite combat looks really good. That is, um, I forget the actor's name. That's uh, Ackerson. Basically, uh, Horsey's main rival. The one who was responsible mostly for the Spartan 3 program. Um, and who... Actually, oh, God, he was the one... Um, he was the one... That him, and, him and his brother were, like, massive Lord of the Rings fans. Yes! Because uh, the documents that he had for uh, about Horsey that she found on his like at terminal or something about uh her like spot on two stuff was called that he, he called the documents the king under the mountain which is what um Thorin was uh so like with Erebor in Lord of the Rings tangent but that's cool and I actually really hope they bring some of the Tolkien like Lord of the Rings stuff into this because that would be really really cool we just had that in Halo Outcast with I forget the character's name but talking to the Arbiter about Lord of the Rings very briefly, but it was really cool. So more of that in this, please, would be beautiful. That is obviously not Cortana. Kalmia, maybe? But she's not green. Kalmia was green, if I remember rightly. Yeah, she was. Um, so I don't know who that is, unless I'm, like, slipping. I'm trying to think. I know Ackerson had an AI that he used to, like, spy on Horsey, I believe. It's been a while since I've, like, touched upon that part of the law, so I might be a little bit wrong there, but I'm pretty sure Ackerson had his own AI that he used to, like, spy on Horsey and, like, get 
basically get dirt on her. So maybe that's that AI. Um, very obviously not Cortana though. And then the Halo ring. I mean, it's a Halo ring, right? In the Halo TV show. It's a given. Uh, maybe we'll actually go to it this time and not in some... I can't believe I'm about to say this, but hopefully not in Master Chief and the uh, female Arbiter standing human character's uh, love dream. Hopefully we'll actually, you know, go there for, for real this time. Uh, we can hope. We can hope. Um, my theory with this is that this season is basically going to be Halo Reach, or it's going to be... A, not Halo Reach, sorry. It's going to be a retelling of the Fall of Reach, and it's probably going to lead into Halo 1. If there's a season three, it will probably lead. I think the ending will be the Halo ring. The ending will be like, oh yeah, Reach is screwed. We got to go. We got to dip. And then somehow like, was the, hang on, was the Autumn even in season one? I genuinely can't remember if it was or not. Either way, whether it was or whether it wasn't, I guarantee, I guarantee the ending of this comes in more in line with the games. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to predict this because as the first season taught us, this show is absolutely unpredictable in every way, shape and form. So who knows, dude? Who knows? Um, I mean, I'm not going in with high hopes. Uh, and I don't, I'll be honest, I don't suggest anybody else does. I suggest everyone just, if you are going to watch it, I suggest everyone just goes in like, eh, it is what it is. Um, I, I, I forget the guy's name. The new showrunner was the showrunner for season one, two, and three of Fear the Walking Dead, which I've mentioned in videos before, but that was, a, honestly, the first three seasons of that was so, so good. It was such a good spinoff. I was really surprised. So I have a lot more faith in him this time over, like, the God knows how many showrunners they had in the first season. Um, and also how fast this has come out compared to the first season. I think it's probably had less development hell. Um, or it spent less time in, uh, what was it, 265 script rewrites. I don't think it's had that this time. So we'll see. I mean, I'm not expecting what we should be getting. I'm not expecting um, like True Detective or The Boys or House of the Dragon tier quality. Uh, not at all. But I don't know. At the very least, if we get some like cool ass like Halo battle scenes, like with really cool Halo score in the background, uh, like at the very least then i'll be like yeah okay well at least there was something salvageable from it so we'll see um but yeah i'll be honest like i was tempted like do i do a breakdown like a dedicated breakdown video and i'm not going to this is my breakdown i'm sorry i don't have i'm quite hungover right now to be perfectly honest with you i don't quite have the um the mental fortitude so to speak to to do a whole video breaking this down so leave your thoughts down below in the comments let me know what you think are you gonna watch the show are you not um let me hear it. I'll be curious to hear what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I'm going to edit this video and go to bed because I need some sleep. I'm tired. Your boy is really tired and hungover. So <laughs> thank you for watching. I love you all. And I'll catch you all in the next one.